So wait, how do you play this game of yours? Well, it's pretty simple. You pick up a card from the deck without showing the other person. Uh-huh. And then, you show the other person the card. And then? Oh, that's it. Wait, what? That's not even a game! That's just showing the other person a card. Hey, take it easy on me. It took me a while to think of this. How could you have possibly... You know what? I should have known it would be something like this. I am wasting my time here. Ugh. Anyway, I'm going to inquire about this whole elimination thing. See you. Well, I thought it was good. Hey, uh, Shipwheel? When will we do this elimination thing? It's been a couple of days since we lost the challenge. Yeah, well we can't do it until we recover BSP and Google because they died last episode. And how do we bring them back exactly? Well, this ship has a recovery center, but I still haven't turned it on yet. Oh. Yeah, in fact I should probably do that right now. Thanks for reminding me. Uh, no problem I guess. <laughs> Hey, welcome back guys. Google, you can do whatever you want, but BSP, you need to follow me to the plank. It's elimination time. Welcome, Cherry Sodas. Welcome to the Barrel Zone. This is where one of you will walk the plank and be the first eliminated from the show. Oh no, I don't want anyone to be eliminated. Well, that's just too bad. Sandstone, go away. You're not up for elimination. Whatever. <laughs> anyway... We received 206 votes, which is a whole heap, thanks to everyone who voted. Now, since this is the first elimination, it needs something special. So as a twist, the person with the second highest amount of votes will switch teams with another contestant. That doesn't seem like too bad of a punishment. Yeah, but it will mix up the show a bit, which should be interesting. Now, let's get on to the votes. The two contestants with the least amount of votes are Sticky Rice and Varisite, with 17 and 21 votes each. Ooh, what are the prizes? What, what do you mean? Like, do we get cake or something? You ungrateful brat! You got the least amount of votes and do not get eliminated. That's your prize. You should be more grateful. Oh, sorry. You should be. That was very rude. I'm very disappointed and I'll be letting your parents know about the sickening behavior of yours. Now, moving on. Safe with the second least amount of votes is bed with 23 votes. Phew. Next safe is BSP with 30 votes. So that means we have our bottom two, can and donut. What? I'm in the bottom two? What did I even... whatever. How's the music going, donut? Alright, and the last person safe is... Donut! I mean can! Gee, that was tense. Donut, it's time to go. Huh? What? I won? I won! Nope, you were the first eliminated. What? You know what, never mind about what I just said. You will get the prize if you jump off the plank. Challenge accepted. Heh, <laughs> what an idiot. For the sake of the contestants who were not at the elimination, Donut has left us, and now there are only 12 contestants left. And since there are no rejoins, this number will keep getting lower and lower. Also, I announced that the contestant who received the second most amount of votes would be switching teams with a contestant from the Berry Sherbets. This was Cam. So, Cam, who will it be? Hmm, I think I'll probably switch with Sundal because having two armless contestants on a team is probably not ideal. Fine by me. Now with that done, let's get on to the challenge. Wait, already? Yeah! We're going to be doing challenges right after the eliminations. So, this challenge is a combination of a treasure hunt and a maze. Within this giant ship, there is a level purely devoted to this challenge, which is essentially a series of narrow passages and bends with treasure chests scattered throughout. Most of these treasure chests will be fake and will contain something that isn't the treasure. So whichever team finds the correct treasure chest will win. This sounds like fun. Yeah, okay, whatever. Now allow me to transport you to the center room. Alright, now, start! 
Alright, so I think we should split up into two groups. So we cover more ground, but we also don't get lost, of course. Since we have an odd number of people, someone would have to go solo. Yeah, sure. I'll go solo. Alright then. I guess Sticker Rice and BSP can go together and me and Varasite can go together. Sounds good to me. Everyone, we need to hurry up and think of a plan. The other team are already ahead. You know what, actually? Their plan seems pretty good. Let's just copy what they're doing. But, if we do that, someone is going to have to go solo. Me! <laughs> Alright, well then, I, uh... I think the groups of two should be me, Tile, Sandstone, and Cloudflower. And Can and Gooball. What? No, please, no! Oh, don't worry, she's not that annoying. Yeah, I can be all hip with you, dog. May God have mercy on your soul. Anyway, let's all go in different directions now, and we can probably find this treasure. No, don't go! Okay, look, I know you find me annoying, but being placed with me might not be too much of a bad thing, actually, because believe it or not, I think I already know where the treasure is. What? How? I have done various challenges similar to this before, and I think I've analyzed every possible route, and judging by the way steering wheel acts, I think I've already got an advanced prediction of where the treasure chest will be. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I know. So first off, we need to go through that passage. Follow me, and we will find this treasure in no time. So, BSP, how are you feeling about this challenge? Uh, yeah, I'm good, I guess. Oh wow, what is this? It looks like a door. Might be a good sign, we should check it out. Sure. I can't see any- We found it already! We found it! We won! Wait, Sticky Rice, remember, this could just be a fake chest. Yeah, but if it was a fake chest, it wouldn't be placed under this light now, would it? Now, if you'll excuse me... Cactus! 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 Cact- Oh my god, will you quit it? No! I won't! Ugh, being placed with you is a nightmare! Please tell me we're getting close to the treasure. We are getting really close, I would only say another five minutes away. Better be. I'm not sure I can take much more of this. How's the search going, Sandstone? Ugh, it's going terrible. You know what, I don't think it's in this room. Can we go somewhere else? Yeah, but the other rooms don't have chairs. Besides, there are plenty of hiding spots in this room where a treasure chest could be. I think a treasure chest would be out in the open. I don't think you have to look inside stuff. No, nope, it's definitely in this room. Can you at least help? <sighs> Fine. So demanding. Okay, what the fuck is this thing? You know what? You carry it, Sandstone. Now go find a treasure chest that isn't disappointing. We have seen that before. We are going in circles. Well, okay, Mr. Smarty Pants. Where do you suggest we go, then? Um, that way. That's where we went just before. Oh, yeah. Also, why am I carrying you? Because there is no other way. Ah! 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 Okay, seriously, that painting again. We are never going to win. No! It was a fake! Money? Gold? What is this? How could they be so cruel? Um, Tyler, I actually think that was the right- No! It's not! If it was the right one, it would be too obvious! The real treasure is obviously a jawbreaker and an AIDS awareness ribbon. Oh, there once was a- Will you please shut up? Just for one minute of your life? I am really beginning to doubt what you've been saying about where the treasure is. Like, are we even in the ship anymore? It just looks like we're in some sort of cave. How could we have left the ship? I think we would know if we did. The reason the walls are made of rock is just to increase the atmosphere. Think about it. You said that we were five minutes away an hour ago! Yeah, but this is different. I can feel it! I'm just going to make sure. Let me get out Google Maps. We are on the other side of the planet. What? We are on the other side of the flippin' planet! How is that even possible? You are the worst navigator ever! That's justified. Gee, we haven't seen a treasure chest for ages. I agree. Truly unmotivating. Hang on, what's over there? It's another chest. Maybe the tides have finally turned. Please don't be another fake. A jawbreaker and an AIDS awareness ribbon! We did it! Yay! 
And the best part is that we get to keep the prizes. Man, I haven't had a jawbreaker in a while. Oh, so good. Dear God, BSP, are you alright? Mm-hmm. I haven't had much luck lately. I haven't even had a big I don't think the ship can take any more. Okay, luckily we had another backup ship, which is the exact same size as the first two. But that's beside the matter! You killed everyone except me, Goobal, and Can. By the way, none of you have seen Goobal and Can, have you? They're missing. I don't believe so, no. That was extremely dangerous. But nonetheless, BSP and Sticky Rice, you still did win for your team. Yay! But I am still curious. How did you break your jaw? I bit down too hard on the jawbreaker. Wait, what? The jawbreaker? That was one of the fake chests! So your team doesn't win after all. See, Tile, I told you, we found the treasure. Yeah, the real treasure was obviously the carrot. Wait, you mean this? Yeah, duh. Well, I guess our team still won. You're right, they did. So once again, the cherry sodas are up for elimination. Which means viewers, vote off one of the following five contestants to walk the plank. Voting ends in a week, so get voting.